CPT-JJCPV Introduction, page 15, part 11. Results, testing, interpretation, and report continued. Okay, certain procedures or services described in CPT involve a technical component, which means tests. And these tests produce results, which means they produce data, images, slides, right? For clinical use, some of these results require interpretation, means that a person who understands what they are tell you, tells you what it means. That's interpretation, right? Some CPT descriptors specifically require interpretation and reporting to report that code. So it doesn't, it's not necessary that the procedure is done, but somebody has to read it and interpret it. Look at it and say, this is what it means. And after you get that interpretation, then you can code. All right? So that's all it's saying. And then uh, there's uh, an example there, or this is an EKG, right? An EKG, and then after the interpretation, you, you, you give a different code, a different CPT code because of the interpretation. The procedure is just one. is it, is an EKG, right? Or, or e, ECG, right? Or EKG. And then, but according to the interpretation, is that you give it a different code, okay? So that's all they're saying. It's not, it's not as, uh, enough just to have the procedure, but somebody has to interpret it already, and then you can code. All right, that's our theory for today. And now we're gonna do a problem, so ready, set, go. Okay, this is CPT JJRVA 261. Uh, page 261, uh, exercise 100, and it's a level 1 exercise, and the title is? Priapism. Priapism, right? And the text reads? Surgery, male genital system, priapism operation with spongiosum shunt. The spongiosum shunt, okay? That is the procedure. And now we're going to count, we're going to uh, count to three, so you can stop the video and give us the CPT code for this condition. One, two, three. Okay, the answer is 54430. Did you get that? If you got that, congratulations. If you didn't get it, let's give you a couple of tips. First tip. Start with priapism. Start with priapism, which is the diagnosis, right? It's the condition, right? Right. All right. And uh, two. Even though in the index you don't find, find spongiosum, you will find it in the tabula. Yeah, don't worry that you don't find spongiosum in the index, but keep looking and then you'll find it in the tabula, right? Right. The third tip. Even though it's a range from 54420 through 54430, there are only two codes. Yeah, there are only two codes. The, the beginning and the end. The, the 20 and the 30. There's no 21, 22, 23. You don't have to look for 10 codes. There's just, just, just two. Okay? So, and then the shunt for priapism is a little more explanation there. There's a, there's a distal shunt and a proximal shunt, okay? Okay, so you know already the, the tips and you know the answer, which is 54, 430. Now we're going to count to three so you can stop the video or pause the video and give us the path, how we got to the answer. One, two, three. Okay, this is the, the summary of the whole problem, right? It's a surgery section of the CPT code. It's a male genital system. It's a priapism operation with, with a spongiosum shunt, okay? So there's only one code, and the code 1 through the index is found like this. First, you go to index. Go to the index. Then you go to priapism. Go to the P and, and find priapism. Then you go to repair. Go to repair. Then you go to with shunt. With shunt. And you get what? 54420 four, through 54430. Four, yeah, so it looks like you're getting 10 codes, but uh, as we told you in the in the tips, there are only two codes, the first one and the last one. There's, there's nothing in between. So we're going to check these two codes. So the code 1 through the tabular is found like this. First you go to tabular. Uh-huh. Then you go to 54420. Four, Which is the first one. And what is that? Corp corpora... Cavernosa saphenous. Saphenous, right? And it's not exactly what we need. We need something that says it's spongiosum. So go to the next one. 54430 is uh, spongiosum shunt. Uh, priapism. That's what we have, all, all, all the words. So that's why we choose 
this one, right? right? 5, 4, 4, 30. So that's why there's an equal sign at the end, and it means that the answer is 5, 4, 4, 3, 0. Okay? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit our website, and also... And also, you can subscribe to us on YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. Right, in the subscribe button, and you will get... You will get up to three videos every day that we make. ICD-10, CPTs, all that is in the past of medical coding certification exams. Mm, so don't forget to visit our website and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.